Our sources, Code of Maryland Regulations, or COMAR, on the use of restraint and seclusion. This letter, the Department of Justice Civil Rights Investigators sent to school leaders. The settlement reached between the government and the Frederick County Public School System and Maryland's U.S. Attorney, Eric Barron. This originated from complaints uh, from parents. According to the DOJ letter, investigators found pervasive noncompliance during a two and a half year period between 2017 and 2020. They found more than 7,200 seclusions and restraints on 125 students. Investigators report every single student the district secluded was a student with disabilities. 99% restrained was a student with disabilities. There's any number of other options and alternatives before you get to any kind of restraint or seclusion. And, and those alternatives are humane. So where is this happening? According to investigators, 89% of cases occurred at just three schools. Lewistown Elementary, Spring Ridge Elementary, and the Rock Creek School, a school that investigators say exclusively serves students with, quote, severe disabilities. Rock Creek School's mission is to promote a safe, respectful... This promotional video on the school's website says Rock Creek serves students 3 to 21 years old, offering a range of programs, including vocational and life skills. According to Comar, the state allows the use of restraints or seclusions, but only in emergencies or to protect the student and others. The DOJ report indicates school leaders not only violated state and federal law, but their own policy. So what will the school system change? According to the settlement, Frederick County Public Schools will ban isolation rewrite policy, retrain and hire more staff and require a complete debrief and report every time restraint is used. A school spokesperson explains staff are now using restorative practices and de-escalation, saying, quote, the agreement aligns with the vision and work that FCPS has already begun. Delia Gonsalves, WUSA 9.